Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to a bonus episode of the Makeup Breakup. Today we are investigating some shit that happened on the internet very recently. That's true. We are filming this very late at night. We it's are. after 10pm. We yes. We've got to do this. Got to do it. Much important. Let's have a look at what the hell is going on with these Kat Von D tattoo liners. So today, literally today, uh, that we are filming, some drama popped up on the internet where people were saying the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the mini and the full size contain the same amount of product and people were being ripped off. Yeah, so uh, to the point where people were saying, I hope there's a class action lawsuit. Yes. This is a ripoff. People um, were outraged. They were outraged. Yes. So what happened was... Uh, someone opened up the large size and also the mini size and realized the ink well is the same size. Yes. So we've been tagged multiple times on the internet. We ran down to Sephora. We got the last tattoo liner duo and we're going to pull them apart and pour out the product and see roughly how much is inside. So uh, Kat Von D has commented on this and has made a point of saying that the component is the same but the fill line is different. She also compared it to a steel liner showing that the component inside the liquid liner is pretty standard yeah. um, and we are erring on the side of agreeing with what Kat Von D is saying. Uh, it is very likely that the component, the packaging is very very similar yeah. but the amount in there is different but we will have a look. We'll find out. So the full size tattoo liner claims to contain 0.55 mil, so just over half a mil of product. And the mini liner contains 0.2 mil. So that is one fifth of a mil. All right, so here we have the mini and the full size. So if the components are the same, why do we need a mini and a full size it's all going to come down to perception you know some people want a mini for travel it can be really helpful some people want a full size for the ease of using it holding a longer pen is simply easier and also these minis you know you can get them as samples and gift with purchases and stuff like that um, and it's not meant to look like a full size product because it represents the fact that there is supposed to be less product than a full size within the inkwell component. It's business time, so what we're going to do is try and remove the inkwell and the nib from the um, packaging and then remove the nib from the inkwell and tip it into a little graduated cylinder to see how much is in each. Let's do it! Alright, so after much difficulty, we have uh, got our components out of the tubes. So this is from the mini one. You might be noticing that a snafu happened. We did break it. And this one here is from the large size. So we're going to try and get the fluid out of these. Um, I'm just going to move these out the way for now since we can clearly tell which one's which. Uh, the mini, we did accidentally break off the tip while we were trying to get the component out. Um, and you can see that there is a like a felt tip. So the felt tip applicator starts up here, it goes all the way through and down into the inkwell. Now, knowing that there's only 0.2 mils of product in there, which is a very small amount, um, a lot of it could just be sucked up in this nib. Now, in the inside of the inkwell, you'll be able to see um, what the nib actually attaches to. Now, there are balls, which you might be able to hear, in these. So we can't actually tip product out of this white part. The balls are going to sink down and stop the flow of fluid. So we're going to have to cut these open or get that white bit out. That's step number two. Just so we are clear, though, we want to show you that these are the same size if I can get this into the very small hole. Okay. Ta da! They are the same size. Look, so. okay, I'm in the distance, but one thing I think is good about this, it shows that when you get a sample, 
yeah. it's a good representation of the actual product. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. So let's see how much is inside. Okay, let's do it. We're going in via the bottom because we actually think that's going to be the easiest way. Uh, we've just like jimmied it off with a knife and loosened that up. This is the full size. This is the full size. Oh, okay. You can actually see the product sort of bubbling in there. So it's pretty hard to see, but maybe a centimeter down, you could actually see the product. Yeah. So we'll let's... see what that is. Oh, it's leaking on the table. Uh -oh, let's do this spaghetti. real quick. Shit. Okay. Ah. You're messy. You're bloody messy. And we're not going to mess around with this one. This is the little one. This product? Looks like there's no product in there to be fair. Oh, ah. It didn't go quite to plan, but it's interesting. It's proving a point. Yeah. All right. So this is the full size um, and there is clearly fluid pooling at the bottom of the graduated cylinder. And on the table. And on the table and down the sides. Um, I would I would say that there was half a mil of product in there. Yeah. At this point, there's like maybe a third in the graduated cylinder, but we've got product on the table, product on the graduated cylinder. Product on your hands. Product on my hands. Probably product still very slowly seeping down the graduated cylinder. With the mini, there Different appears story. to be a second tube within the inkwell component. So we're going to take it out and have a look at it. And a little ball. Good ball bearing. Ball. Okay, so there was fluid in there. It's not enough to be pooling at the moment it's more just like sticking to the side of the graduated cylinder and there was a secondary plastic tube in there yeah it looks like a little hollow plastic tube that contains the ink i reckon they dropped this into the component to fill up space within there and then put the ink in so that the nib can actually access yeah. the ink it might also be component. like an indicator of volume or something. Maybe, yeah. But it is definitely more accurate to use that middle part as a representation of how much ink you get yeah. compared to the full nib yeah. or the full inkwell. Yeah. So in conclusion, um, I guess people really need to compare this to this instead of this to this. Yeah. Because while the components are the same, they're being filled in different ways. Um, so that the smaller one does contain less product and the larger one contains the full size amount of product. Yeah, and you can see there's a huge difference in the, the amount that they yeah, contain. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a big difference. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think Kat Von D was doing anything dodgy here. No, at all. No. I think this is a good example of internet sort of hysteria mm. um this is ah oh, this is the elf primer of 2019 that's true <laughs> yeah. It is. yeah yeah it's it's someone noticed a, a packaging similarity yeah. and um based on that they made some wild assumptions but it doesn't seem like there's anything yeah. dodgy going on here which is good we don't want dodge damn you kat von d for making us buy some products i know you money. i'm so disappointed clean my table all right, guys, so that's it for us today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this little investigative makeup breakup. Uh, it was fun. We've never cracked open an eyeliner before, I don't yeah. think. Um, and another thing, we actually really love like testing these things out when people are like, oh, wait, is this a thing? We love to take a closer look. So, so thank you for everyone who tagged us. Yes. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.